Hello class, we will continue with the networking chapter. Uh, we discussed a few networking devices in our last class. I think two are left out. One is called the uh, Wi-Fi card. You all know what is Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi card is one of them. Another one was repeater. Okay. So first let me tell you what is a Wi-Fi card. Wi-Fi card as you know it is very very essential device to have a Wi-Fi connectivity. That means we are talking about wireless or unguided medium which you have studied. So if you have a Wi-Fi card, uh, Wi-Fi card first of all can be inbuilt in a system like in most of the laptops, uh, pr the current laptops basically, the Wi-Fi card is already uh, inbuilt and in some of the desktop computer it is inbuilt and if it is not then it can be attached in its USB port. In that case obviously it will be an external Wi-Fi card. What is the purpose of this Wi-Fi card? Wi-Fi is basic card is basically a kind of transmitter and receiver. What does it transmit and what does it receive? It transmits and it receives radio waves. Remember this. We have studied radio wave. So Wi-Fi basically, Wi-Fi is a range of frequency. I told you the other day. So in between I think 2.5 to 5 gigahertz. Within that range if you uh, transmit some waves to propagate data basically that is called Wi-Fi. So what will happen is basically Wi-Fi card makes use of radio waves. So imagine uh, from your laptop you are trying to access the Google page right. So Google server has sent you the page. Now you have a router over there right. Uh, the router is supposed to deliver you the page. How router will deliver you the page? So if the router is also a wireless device then router will send a radio signal that means the whole web page entire HTML document that will be passed out to you through the radio waves and what will happen your Wi-Fi card will receive that radio wave and again it will convert it into a kind of uh, web page for, so that you can see it right. So basically the, the job of Wi-Fi card here is two it is a transmitter come receiver plus it converts your radio waved you know radio wave carried that web page into a form of data so that you can view it in your system. So that is the purpose of Wi-Fi card and the second one is repeater. What, is, what we use the repeater for? The repeater basically is used to make a frequency, to give a frequency a boost up, fine. What happens if you remember we studied this um, in the case of twisted pair cable for example. Maximum range is 100 meters. After the 100 meters, what happens? Twisted pair cable, if it is used, then the signal slowly generates very, the signal generated becomes very weak. So if it has to be passed on further, then what happens? There basically a repeater is used. Fine. A repeater is used. The purpose of repeater is basically to regenerate the frequencies, to regen, to amplify the signal basically. So that is how the repeater is used. So another application of repeater, it's not necessary that repeater will be always used in a, a cabled network, okay, wired network. It can be wireless repeater also. Like what happens, like you imagine there is a mountain over here, right? And you have the, the stations through which you can, sub, you can basically transmit the radio waves. So when the radio waves go, you know the radio waves has a property that it can bend over the barriers. But when it is bending over, what happens? The signal slowly, slowly falls sick. Okay? It's the signal falls very, very weak. So what happens if you put a repeater over here? Okay? In the next station, if the repeater is used along with the uh, receiver, okay, then what will happen? This repeater will be able to amplify the signal so that the radio wave is received and it's amplified and passed on for the next station to receive it. So a repeater can be used in a wireless circumstances also. Okay. We will discuss some case study based questions later. So there the situations might come. Sometimes you have to make use of this uh, device. Remember this repeater is used normally where maximum cable length is used. Okay. 
uh, and the repeated the purpose of repeated is basically to regenerate the frequency so wherever the the case study based questions will find that a twisted pair cable is used and it is all almost you know being pulled it has to be pulled more than 100 meters then you can remember the scenario that a repeater is quite obvious or in the case of say almost one kilometer you have to pull right obviously there uh, your twisted pair cable will be not much of a use so in that scenario obviously you will go for coaxial cable and if the cost is not a factor then you have to go for fiber optic cable so fiber optic cable there is no need of repeater because fiber optic cable can pull the data for a long distance but in the case of coaxial cable after 500 meters what will happen the coaxial cables also will not generate very good signal so repeater will come right so this is how these two are to be used